Hey guys, this is Ish at Ish's Tactical Solutions and today I was going to go over the review of Discrete Ballistics hunting ammo for the 300 Blackout. So we went and we done a review before and we went out and we shot it for, your, for you guys. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. Uh, I think the name of the video was uh, Best 300 Blackout Subsonic Ammo Discrete Ballistics. Anyways, they had sent me one of their hunting rounds and the rest were their full metal jackets. Now their full metal jackets were uh, extremely accurate, uh, pretty quiet for what we were using. Uh, they put it straight to the barrel. Well what we had done, we took it out, we took it hunting and while we were uh, predator hunting we did uh, take out quite a few uh, coyotes or predators with it anyways and but we had quite a few run off and the reason is, is a hard bullet for a soft tissued am animal and it was just going straight through them. So what would happen is either they were getting away or we had to we had to actually track them quite a ways to, to go get them even out of the 300 blackout. So what I done is I got a hold of discreet ballistics and we went ahead and got some of their hunting ammo and we took it out as well. And it turned out to uh, be magnificent at the end of this. Check it out. We're going to have a video up uh, using thermals and the coyote that we shot with it. Now, we would have more on there, but it's amazing. Whenever you go to go do all this predator hunting and stuff, if you really have a reason to go film, for some reason, we have a hard time getting the, getting the shot that we want or to even get them to come up. So uh, we only have one for you, but it done magnificent. One of my things that I will say is it did require some blending of the chamber. Not a big deal for you guys that know how to do it because this is very soft copper, very soft copper. There is no lead in there. It's just straight copper and it has these long slits down the side. And if you look down through there and then just that wide open type of uh, uh, copper opening there on the bullet. And man, does it just, it, it does have a hard time uh, going and cycling through the AR uh, because it's so soft and it's so big. So I went through and uh, I, I blended my chamber and had no problem after that. Just keep it clean. Um, after, I'm telling you, it, it was amazing what it done on this, uh, on this coyote. And I'd have to say that for subsonic rounds, they're just really unique. Uh, so watch the video guys. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, give us a like subscribe make us a favor God family country all in that order and thanks for watching